to the mountains, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your heart. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. I will give thanks to you, my Lord. You have answered my plea. Raise your voices, lift your heart. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. A warm welcome to each one of you for this Holy Eucharist. We pray for all the intentions on this channel. In a very special way today, as we celebrate the feast of St. Charles Bormio, we pray for the lawyers, the advocates and those working for legal cells and for justice and peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly great sinned. Sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Preserve in the midst of your people. We ask, O Lord, the spirit with which you filled the bishop, St. Charles Barmio that your church may be constantly renewed and by confirming herself to the likeness of Christ may show his face to the world who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians, chapter 3, verses 17 Chapter 4, Verses 1 Our homeland is in heaven, and from heaven comes Christ to transfigure us. My brothers, be united in following my rule of life. Take as your models everybody who is already doing this, and study them as you used to study us. I have told you often, and I repeat it today with tears. There are many who are behaving as the enemies of the cross of Christ. They are destined to be lost. They make foods into their God, and they are proudest of something they ought to think shameful. The things they think important are earthly things. For us, a homeland is in heaven, and from heaven comes 
the Savior we are waiting for, the Lord Jesus Christ. And He will transfigure these wretched bodies of ours into copies of His glorious body. He will do that by the same power with which He can subdue the whole universe. So then, my brothers and dear friends, do not give way but remain faithful in the Lord. I miss you very much, dear friends. You are my joy and my crown. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. I rejoiced when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to the God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Response I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. Jerusalem is built as a city, strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up the tribes of the Lord. Response I rejoice when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. For Israel's law it is there to praise the Lord's name. There we set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. Response I rejoice when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia. God in Christ was reconciling the world to himself. And he has entrusted to us the news that they are reconciled. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O God. Jesus said to his disciples, There was a rich man, and he had a steward who was denounced to him for being wasteful with his property. He called for him, he called for the man and said, What is this I hear about you? Draw me up an account of your stewardship, because you are not to be my steward any longer. Then the steward said to himself, Now that my master is taking the, sh the stewardship from me, what am I to do? Dig? I am not strong enough. Go begging? I should be too ashamed. Ah, I know what I will do to make sure that when I am dismissed from the office, there will be some to welcome me into their homes. Then he called his master's debtors one by one. To the first he said, How much do you owe my master? One hundred measures of oil was the reply. The steward said, here, take your bond, sit down, straight away, and write fifty. To another he said, And you, sir, how much do you owe? One hundred measures of wheat, was the reply. The steward said, Here, take your bond, and write eighty. The master praised the dishonest steward for his austereness. For the children of this world are more austere in dealing with their own kind than are the children of light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 16, verses 1 to 8, 
we heard this following story how the employer once called his steward to give an account of his stewardship and we heard this dishonest steward as he was asked to give an account of his conduct of his responsibility he was aware that he had failed to be honest and sincere in his dealings he had misused his responsibilities and therefore he uses his prudence so that once he is thrown out of his responsibilities he may have a better life my dear brothers and sisters a lord has given us this account or through this account he is making us all aware that god has blessed us with so many gifts and talents he has blessed us <coughs> so that we may use this talents and gifts responsibly so that we may use these gifts and talents responsibly for the betterment of our brothers and sisters who are interested to our care but even though as we are weak we are fragile we have failed to be responsible to be honest to be truthful to whatever we are assigned at the lord invites us to use our prudence to know that he is merciful our heavenly father is compassionate and therefore he has sent his son so that he could forgive us our sins so that he could forgive us and we may once again be in his company that we may be strengthened to do better things in a better way <coughs> so that we may be honest and responsible to the small and little things that we are interested with today the holy mother church remember st charles borromeo the bishop st charles who had done his civil and civil studies civil law and canon law as a lawyer when he was equipped with all these talents and knowledge his family wanted to come back and take care of the belongings and property of the family for he was a rich man but st charles renounced all this he reformed himself and he reformed others especially the church the clergy so that whatever is entrusted to our care may be utilized honestly for the glory of god it is not what you have makes you rich it is not what you have makes you rich but it is what you give makes you rich and that is what you will take as you leave this world so that you will be crowned with the heavenly reward amen
Pray, my brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May these sacrific sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord Amen the Lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift, lift them up to the Lord let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is right and just it is truly a, it is truly right and just a duty and our salvation Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praise are nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company, with the cause of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit, upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Derek our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teachings, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that, renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Always I will sing of the glory of the Lord. Always I will sing of the glory of the Lord. Always Praise Him, praise Him, great are His mighty deeds. Love Him, love Him, He is ever merciful. Praise Him, praise Him, great are His mighty deeds. Sing of the glory of the Lord always, always. Oh, 